Is this a 10-5 race? Do we see this happening? Shakiri might crumble in this one. What's up, all going, my people? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Dav here, back again with another one. Today, I'm here to talk about the epic women's 100 meter clash at the Prefontaine Classic in Eugene. Before I jump into this one, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. We're on the road to 500 subscribers, so please do the max. Now, let's jump into it. So, we've seen the start list, it is a talented feel. You know, a really, really talented feel. My top four for this pick, though, or this race, is Talu, Elaine, Sharika, Shakiri. That's my top four. I want to start off by saying Auntie Talu, or Marie Jose Talu, has been doing an awesome job this season. You know, she's had a season best of 1075, with her personal best being 1072, and it just goes to show that she has been having the season of her life. She's been doing well. She doesn't have any silverware to show for it, but really and truly, she has given it her all this season. And I'm very, very proud of what she has done. You know, moving on from Talu, I want to speak on Sharika. Sharika has disappointed me this season, really, really disappointed me. From watching her run that 1065 to seeing her lose that 100 meter, it was really, really hard for me. You know, I believe that she was watching Shelly through that race in Budapest and wasn't giving it her all and that cost her the race. It was her race to lose and she lost it, people. But we have to give Shakiri her stripes. She earned it. She ran the race of her life and came on to the season's best of 10.65. And for that, I'm happy for her, proud of her, knew she was capable of doing something like this, just never saw it actually coming to life. We've seen her turn around her entire season. We've seen her do and defy odds. This girl is honestly talented and there's no other way to put it. I do see some problems for her though because this could mean revenge where Sharika is concerned. You know, as for Elaine coming back from just one of the worst seasons of her life, I really believe that she's going to come here with some sort of statement. Her new coach has been doing wonders, it has been paying dividends, and I do believe that this coach is someone who should stay with her. If Shakiri cannot handle that level of form that Elaine is going to come with, it's going to be problems for her. But that's just my thought process. A 10-5 athlete versus a 10-6 athlete. Think about it, people. What are your thoughts on it? How do you feel about it? Do you think Shakiri is gonna come home with this one? Do you see Sharika putting up a fight and holding off Shakiri and Elaine? Or do you even see Elaine with this one? Whoever wins, I'm happy for it. But let me know down below how you feel about this one. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Remember, we're on the road to 500 subscribers. So please do the maths. Thanks again for watching. Big up on yourself. Walk good. Later, Magan.